Today, I'm going to show you how to design this Fox mascot logo. Everyone has their own approach, but I hope by showing you mine, it'll help you develop your own. Right, first things first, decide what you want your mascot to be. Once you've made that decision, start a little reference board, have a look online, find a few references to help with angles and features. Once you've got your references in order, start sketching out the base line work for your design. Once that's done, increase your line width and create a more polished visual. At this point, you're going to want to fill it in with a color. I choose greys uh, at this early stage um, just to figure out where different colors are going to go in the visual. So once you're finished with your sketch and it's nice and refined, you're going to want to either scan it in if you've done it on paper or if like me, you've done this digitally, export it as a JPEG and then import that JPEG into a vector program. Now, I use Adobe Illustrator, but it doesn't have to be that. Another vector program, which is a lot cheaper, but still great solution is Affinity Designer, or you can use Vectinator, which is totally free if you have a Mac. Once you have your sketch imported into your desired vector program, you're gonna want to select that pen tool and trace around your line work. If your design is symmetrical, I find it's helpful to turn on rulers and place a guide in the center of your artwork so that you only have to draw the outline to one side and then you can mirror it. Once this is done, merge the two sides, copy and paste a field outline to a lower layer. Now you'll see I didn't do this here, but I do do it a little bit later and then put that layer at the bottom and hide it for now. Once you have your outlines done, you want to create a layer underneath your outline layer and use this layer to get your main base color down. On this occasion, as you can see, I actually duplicate the bottom layer and then hide that bottom layer again and uh, choose a color from there. Once you have filled your color, you're gonna wanna create a, another layer on top of your color layer for your shadows, and then another layer on top of that for your highlights. Once you've finished with your colors, you might want to thicken up the outline a little bit more. So let's make that bottom layer visible, select it, lock the other layers, select the bottom layer, and then offset the path by 10 pixels. It had a nice uh, extra thick line around your design. Um, it may not need it, but if you feel it does, that's a good way of doing it. And then after that, you can even create a little colorful outline by creating another offset path by another 10 pixels and then uh, filling that cut that layer with the desired color. And there you have it, a finished vector mascot design. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments. Always happy to help. I hope this tutorial has helped you. Stay creative, guys. See you next time.